that he received him today, he gave up. Anywhere you think you have failed in your life, that is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My highest desire for this church is that nobody here will go to hell. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you to the hour of grace. And I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Let us see Mark chapter 7, 24 to 30. Reverend George, you read. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon. And enter into an house, and would have no man know it, but he could not be healed. For a certain woman whose daughter, whose young daughter, had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. And the woman was a Greek, a son of Russian by nation, and she besought him that he would cast for the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not me to take the children's bread and cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed. These few verses is loaded with life. I will only speak only on few that the Lord may give me the utterance. Read again, read again. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and enter into an house and would have no man know it but he could not be healed stop the gospel you are going to hear today cannot be hidden you may say is it a new word it's a revelation and there are things you can do are you standing I allow you to sit Sit down and look at me. The woman in need. You cannot hide the truth. From Sinai to Zion. If you are going with me, you will agree that the works of the devil is no more hidden. Devil is manifesting himself openly as never before. But don't fear. When the devil shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises the standard. As the works of devil is made manifest, the works of resurrected Jesus by the Spirit is openly manifested in the whole world. If you are hearing news, you will hear what is happening in the spiritual world. The gospel cannot be stopped. I will give you a few points here. And you move from Sinai to Zion. 
Is there any woman here in need? Woman in need. Is there any man here in need? This service is for you. May God grant me the utterance to reach you. To reach your soul. Not your face. Your soul. Look at what is written. Read, George, from verse 1. And from thence he arose, he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon uh -huh. and entered into an house mm -hmm. and would have no man know it, mm -hmm. but he could not be he. He could not be he. That's by, read verse 25. For a certain woman, for a certain woman, that woman is here. Uh, well, you may not agree, but I put it to you. That woman is here. That man is here. Let us see what happened. Uh -huh. Whose young daughter had an unclean spirit. There is a trouble of unclean spirit somewhere. He's or her young daughter has trouble with the unclean spirit. What kind of trouble do you have now? What kind of need do you have now? Or you think that I'm talking to people in Shagamu? No, you are the one, 101. Read. Whose young daughter had an unclean spirit? Uh -huh. Heard of him. What? Stop. You follow the reading of the scriptures. This woman did not see Jesus 101. He, she heard of him. If you are wise, hear me today. Don't see me in the flesh. Somebody sent me. I am speaking his word. He is no more here physically. But he is here personally. He's looking at you and me. The woman did not see him 101. If you see Jesus 101, you may not, you may not carry it. When John, the apostle, saw him, he fell like a dead man. The man I'm talking about is glorified. He's no more in the flesh. He's living in me. He sent me. He's by your side. He's in you. Hear him. Read on. Heard of him, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. Now he took the right step. Whenever you are coming to Jesus, don't come because you are a millionaire. Whenever you are coming to Jesus, don't come. Maybe you are of his own town. Let no man know me in the flesh. If you are coming to Jesus, don't come because it's your brother. You have killed men. I say again, gospel is taking a new dimension. You will move from Sinai to Zion. And if you are still seeing the gospel in the flesh, you may not move. The woman fell. The woman took a step of humility. Can I ask you a question? How rich are you? You are very rich, praise God. How poor are you? You are very poor, 
Very good. Jesus fits the two conditions. He is so rich that he, he is the owner of heaven and earth. So poor that they made his bed in a manger with the animals. He fits your condition. Don't bother yourself about your condition. But my question is this. Do you have any need? He comes for somebody with a need. I say again, don't know me in the flesh. I am not a servant of man. I fear and tremble of this word I'm speaking. It's bigger than me. When I was meditating and looking at this thing, I, sh I, I shook my head. This woman in need fell at her feet, at his feet. What posture are you taking before Jesus? You a big man? Praise God. And you will continue to remain big. God will preserve you. The history, I will not go into history, but understand she was a Gentile. She was a Canaanite. Those that knew her cost. She was a cost woman. Noah said to Canaan, servant of servants you shall be. What a cost. But hold your peace. That means this woman was in a great need. What is that need? What do you think that is her need? If I ask you now, what is the need of this woman? Read. But he will come and cast forth the devil out of her daughter. You think that that is the need of this woman? He besought Jesus to come and cast out demon from her daughter. Is that the need? I'm asking you. Don't look at me like that. I say, is that the need? Huh? No? If that is not the need, what is the need? Huh? You are, you are, you are, you are through poison. I don't hear you. Is one of the need you try. One of the need. The need you see in the Bible, she said to Jesus, My daughter is troubled with demon, physically and humanly speaking. We may say, What a need. If demon is cast out, that's the need. This woman will be happy. But may I put it to you now. Casting out of demons is a peanut. If that is only the need you have, think twice what is your need. I have been in business of demonology for years. I have seen demons crying out from the body of people. Even to the extent that I have seen a dead man raised. The last enemy, dead. I have seen Jesus demolishing all of them. Is that the need? That is not the need. Rejoice not that demons are bound down before you. That is not the need.
Many people come to me and say, hey, I want deliverance. Deliverance from what? Marine spirit is troubling me. A one spirit is troubling me. Emere is doing this. Is that the need? If that is the only need, I will take my Bible and go home. As far as Jesus Christ is concerned, it's not a case. You are surprised. This woman has a need which was hidden in between the lines of this Bible. You see this Bible? It's closed. That's why you must pray that God will open your eyes to see. This Bible is closed to so many worshippers. They don't know whom they are worshipping. This Bible is closed to many preachers. What they are preaching is motivational message. Yeah, yeah, shout, and you do it seven times. Everybody will rejoice. And then, what next? Unless you pass from Sinai to Zion, you may not understand. I'm speaking to somebody who is here, who is serious of heaven. Who is serious to go to heaven. God sent me to you and I'm happy to serve you. Listen. What is the need of this woman? The need is not the daughter that was troubled by unclean spirits. The woman was a Syrophoenician a Gentile. That is not the need. Pastor Ezekiel, what is the need now? Tell us. Hold your peace. I'm not in a hurry. I want to download this thing in your heart. I want you to understand. And that will help you to move from Sinai to Zion. That is Christianity. You are not being gathered here every Sunday. You will worship among the innumerable company of angels, among the elders, the church of firstborn. With the blood of Jesus Christ speaking better things. Jesus paid so much price to take out to Zion. Can I speak to you? If there is nothing like Zion or what I'm going to tell you now, I will, I will, I will put my Bibles aside. I'm not saying that you're not going to heaven. Or you will go by the grace of God. But from here, you must know whom you are. This is not the time to dwell on thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not, Sinai. Do you know thou shall not? You will see yourself in the circle of that thou shall not. If you are in Mount Zion to hear this, you can hear. Follow me. Let your eyes be open to see life. You will see life. You can touch life. Let your ears be open to hear the Spirit. Let your mind comprehend. Uh -huh. It is not good.
to take the children's bread to take the children's bread and to cast it on onto the dogs to cast it onto the dog to cast it onto the dog church do you think that i'm standing here to open this book to feed the dog This food here I'm carrying in my hand is not for the dog. It's for children. Don't waste my time. This food is for the children. Are you a child? Are you a child of God? If you're a child of God, then listen to the food. Take the food. I'm going to eat it now. Take it. Remember, Sinai to Zion. Read. And said unto him, the woman answered Jesus and said unto him, Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Now, one thing with this woman, the woman is full of humility. is full of humility he admitted that jesus you are talking the truth you are talking the truth lord jesus the woman remembered genesis chapter 9 don't go there but listen from chapter 9 of genesis noah came down from the ark. And his children, or one of his boys, gave him wine to drink. He drank and became a stupor. That a prophet doesn't save you from sin. That you a preacher does not save you from sin. There's only one solution for sin. The cross. Why do you call it cross? It is one before, but cross it. The sin is finished. The young man the son of Ham, a Canaanite. I don't know what he did to his father. And the father woke up from sleep, knowing that something has happened to him. He pronounced a curse. Their curse is terrible. Look, girl. I want to warn you, never neglect a servant or a, a, a woman of God or a servant of God. When he, when he pronounces something to you, that thing he pronounced stayed on the Canaanites for years, up till now. He said you'll be a servant of servants. But to others, he pronounced good things to them. Jephthah, you have a great name. And from that Jephthah name came Jesus, a great name. The other boy, who, the name, the other, what was the name of the other boy? Huh? Huh? What? No, harm is caused now. Shame. Is it shame that was said, your empire or your name will be great? These two other boys, one was given the promise of empire 
say you have empire, you will rule. And that is how Europeans have the world empire. Shame has the name, the name that's above every other name. But the grandson of Ham, Canaan, received a curse. So this woman came from that lineage, knowing very well the background of the history. Jesus said, it's not good for me to take a holy thing to give to you who is cursed. The woman said, even so, Lord, she agreed. She admitted the story. Yes, Lord, I'm a dog. It is written. And that's why in, in Matthew chapter 15 of the same story, Disciples said to Jesus, Suck away this woman is troubling us. They are correct. It's a Canaanite. It's a, it's a curse. Drive him away. The disciples were correct. And the woman knows that it is true. I'm a dog. Master, you, you say the truth. I was from the lineage of a cursed generation. And sectorial demon followed me. I was under a curse. Jesus, I admit. But here comes the message today. You have been in Sinai. A place of course. Do you know that? The woman said, Yes, yes, I agree. But Jesus, even the dog, there are two types of dog there big one and the small one. The small one that used to be under the table. Do you understand? Do you understand? There are some. Petty, petty, petty dog you can carry on your lap. They are very, very friendly. Are you hearing me? But some big dog, hostile. If you enter a house with big dog, ha, 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 you run away. But if it's a small, small dog with flapping ears, when you sit down, he will jump. They will jump on your uh, leg, uh, licking your. You befriend them. This is the type of dog this woman is saying. He's not talking about the big one. Big one is hostile. Nobody likes a big dog. Say, so Jesus, I know. But if you check about that dog, the big one, there's a small one which Jesus called a woman. You're a dog, not, not a hostile one, but that small dog. He said, Jesus, even the dog. Go and check it. Used to be under the table to eat the crumbs that fell from the table, master's table. I know it, Jesus. Even that small, small crumbs is enough for me. Give it to me. Jesus was listening. This woman wants to pass from Sinai to Zion. I've been your pastor for so many years. We have been your pastor for so many years. I have taught you so many things. But something remains. And that is what I want to tell you now from henceforth. Listen to me. We, I don't know whether I may say we, but I have been preaching Sinai to you all this while. 
It's good. Though. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. Any time that came, you are convicted. You, you may cry as much as you like. Go home remaining the same. But if you travel to Zion, Sinai, a place of love, thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Zion, a place of grace. Rejoice, grace said, because your sins are forgiven. Not by works, lest you boast. You can make it by yourself. It is Zion. Law is very good, O holy. Sinai is very good. But you can't keep it. I put it to you, you can't keep it. I am not ashamed to stand here to say, move from Sinai to Zion. I don't know what is going in your mind now. But what I'm telling you is nothing but the truth. This woman said, ah! Even so it is true, I am condemned. I am under Sinai. But check, I'm a dog. But even dog, under the table, eat the crumbs that fell from master's table. George, finalize it. Read. Get the dogs under the table. Dogs under the table. Not eat, on the table. Under the table. Eat of the children's crumbs. Eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her. Jesus said unto her. For this sake. For this sake. Go thy way. Go thy way. The devil is gone out of thy daughter. Let me tell you. Zion will rout out all demons in your life without struggle. <laughs> when you take the grace of Zion, you will know that the battle is over. You will only acknowledge it. Thou shalt not. It's no more your problem. Do you know thou shalt not? Jesus fulfilled it for you. Jesus finished everything that you require to go to heaven. He finished it. You are thinking of what I'm saying. That thing you ought to do to go to heaven, Jesus finished it. He said, come unto me. You labor. Labor. I will give you rest of Zion. Come unto me and have rest. You can't go to heaven by your struggle. By your own struggle, by your own way, impossible I will bring to you more things for you to understand you can make it heaven no if it is by your own struggle you are going nowhere do you know what the Bible says? How many laws did the Bible say you will keep? How many of them? Huh? No, the normal one. 
10. 10 laws. Let us stop at 10. Let me ask you. How many of you are keeping this Sinai? 10 laws. How many of you? You are perfectly keeping all. Mark you. If you think, if you see a woman and you think about her, you are, you are guilty. If you are angry, to the extent you are guilty. Let me ask you a question. Since this month, have you ever, don't say mistake, have you, whether by mistake or not, have you ever, ever talked like a single lie? Huh? You can call it, I, I made a mistake. Don't, Jesus did not die for mistake. Hey! See what I say now? You're a liar. And because you're a liar, one single see, uh, law you break, we take you to hell. Question before I close. The Bible says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy strength, with all thy mind. And love thy neighbor as thyself. How many of you are keeping this law? Eh? Nobody. Church, how many, are you backsliders? How many of you are keeping this law? Correctly. Nobody. Huh? If you are not keeping it, say I'm not keeping it. Okay. That is what I'm saying. You can't keep it. Jesus saw you laboring. Say, come on to me. You are laboring to go to heaven. Come on to me. You that labor and a heavy lady, you will carry this law for your head. You are heavy lady. I will give you rest. Learn of me. I am your righteousness. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. True or false? Those of you who read your Bible. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am not going because of my righteousness. My righteousness is as filthy as rag. I only lean on him to live for me. Finally, huh? I bring these two people before you. What did Peter say when he was told that all of you shall deny me this day? What did Peter say? You have it in your Bible. Talk. Others can deny, but not a. Uh, that is under Sinai. Under boasting on the I, me, myself. Others can do, not, not, not Peter, the Peter. Not Peter the Mama. <laughs> not me. Count me out. I can't. If it is prison, I will go with you. If it is death, I will go with you. Jesus said, uh, Jesus looked at him, boasting in I, me, myself. He said, Peter, this night, you'll be a victim. This night. Me? Not Peter. Stone. Unshakable. Not me. Jesus said, okay. No do, no do. One small girl. Look at Peter. Eh? Mister? Are you not one of them? You are one of them. Peter said, What are you talking about? I don't know him. Oh. Don't say it again. Another comes in. Eh? 
You are, you are one of them. I saw you. Uh, Peter, Peter knows that uh, things can not be laid again. No? He denied. Third time, he swear. <laughs> Up to that level. Sinai. Instead of Zion, the grace. Grace is stronger than sin. Grace is stronger than sin. Stronger. I will be teaching here on Wednesday so you can bring your question. But let me take you to other, other, other brother. Peter stayed in Zion and Fumbo. Let me take you to a, a man who stayed in Zion. His name is Apostle John. John! When they are doing some Holy Communion something, John put his head on Jesus' chest. Lord, I can't do it. Do it for me. I can't keep all these things. So I know it's holy, but my body is weak. My, my, my flesh is weak. This is my flesh. Anytime you see woman, this is my flesh. Anytime you see money, I try to, I try to conquer it. No way. Jesus, I can't. I lean upon your strength. He put his head on the chest of Jesus for a good result. And that's why, any, go and check the whole gospel. Anytime John wants to describe himself, he said, the disciple whom Jesus loved, love. If you are in love with Jesus, sin will fly away. If you love your husband, you will talk evil against him. Love covered multitude of sin. If you love your wife, you won't talk evil of her. Which one is grace? Love or the other one? Love. I will stop. May God grant you wisdom. From Sinai to Zion. Who are these people wearing white? Where did they come from? Who are these people singing? Hallelujah. Where did they, where did they come from? These are the redeemed from Sinai to Zion. They are singing Hallelujah. Church, I call you to a higher holiness. A higher holiness where you will not make simple. Jesus Christ became you to live for you. He became you. You can't be Jesus, but Jesus can become you. You can't be Jesus, but Jesus can become you. I repeat. You cannot be Jesus, but Jesus can be you. He wants to live for you. His name is Grace. The name of Jesus is Grace. G-R-A-C-E. God reaches at Christ's expense. Who will take this grace today? From Sinai to Zion. I leave it before you. You'll be hearing me more on this. If you have any question, you are free to ask me. When I open this Bible again, 
Say Ezekiel, you are going to third phase, which is the final. When he dealt with me on this, I bow my heart. Devil tried to do something to my life. But God said, you are too small. I have a plan for him. I will finish my course with joy. The message of Zion has just started in your life. Shall we pray? You are welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God, which is life. And I know your life will never ever remain the same. After you must have had the word of God, please make best use of the word. Don't let your life be the same again. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Today might be the only day you have. I call you to give your life to Jesus. And if you are sick, you are healed. We'll see you next week. Bye. Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 at Salami Street, at Jawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Please outreach, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you, a plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Isaacal, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Isaacal, co pastor National and International Coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.